And it was a good shot that from Mark. It was not an easy safety shot. And he's got within a foot or so of the bolt cushion, but that kiss on the yellow has meant that Luca Brassell can have a go at this red to the right corner. It's pretty straight. Oh, that's absolutely superb wow. from Luca Brassell. Keep that one like a dream. And I think Darren would be disappointed not to be on a colour here. He is, but knowing what an attacking character he is, does he do the roll-up on the green or does he go for the attacking brown in the centre? It's got to be the roll-up, surely. Green ball. And that's what he's going to play. Luca Brussel, one. That would have been very hard for him. It was the right shot he's played there, but knowing the way he plays, that would have been so hard for him not going for that brown. Shows he's got a little bit of discipline. And we are looking at him now, he's slightly different. Dom, he did go through a little erratic period where his, he sort of was throwing his cue at everything and playing some real loose shots. But all of a sudden, he's playing what I call intelligent snooker. Yeah, he's playing to a very high standard as well in these last two or three frames. Quitted himself very well. And what a great experience this is for Luca. Wouldn't have had a great deal of television experience, really. More than most for people, that, of professionals of his age, but you know, to be a centre of attention, playing the current world champion, Mark Selby. There's <coughs> obviously something he can learn from. Oh, that's Mark Selby going to play here because he doesn't have a tight pack of reds to lay the cue ball into. He'd love to just rest on the red behind the black spot if he can find a path to it. But he mustn't cannon it and knock it on. Oh, this doesn't look right. Foul. And a miss. Luca Just a tiny bit wider of the angle of that keyboard. He'd have left that red on for Luca. Be mindful of that with his second attempt. Both pace and line were slightly awry there. A lot of pressure here on Mark Selby. If he miss, makes a mistake here, it could be his last. Luca's normally very good under pressure. Slid, that slid and skidded a bit more off the cushions, and that's what's Foul. left and him a bit short of pace there. As it took a bit of pace out the cue ball. As I say, when the referee cleans the cue ball on the way to replacing it, you sometimes get different bounces. Sliding now. It, the first attempt, Foul. the cue ball did not slide off the Luke cushions. And now the last two attempts, it's skidding off the cushion rail because the cue ball's nice and clean, you see. And it's just foxing Mark Selby. Yes, what was interesting is he just said straight away put it back, but he was left a red to the left centre. He wouldn't have had to have done anything with the cue ball. Rather than make the pot. He's hoping for a better chance. Now you would expect Mark to be very close to this this time. And there he is, I think. Look at how Mr. Trip with the last shot. Too quick to get that one put back. You know, there's no great shakes. Mark gave 12 points away there in fouls, but all the reds are still there available. in behind the ground. You never purposely leave that cue ball two feet or so away from the bolt cushion. You misjudged the line of that shot, but it stopped just perfectly behind the brown. And as you just saw, 
Mark Selby has snookered on all reds, and it's worse this time for Mark Selby because he doesn't have a red near the top cushion to land on to. Just wondering if you can rest on this red in our picture there, whether there will be anything on at all into this right corner. If not, he can play that shot and it won't be too difficult. of trouble you know, I mean snooker behind the green and everything just got to be careful he's looking at this red this is the right corner playing it into the black but in doing so the black is going to cannon the red to its left just got to make sure he doesn't push it over the corner pocket thicker than he'd have liked he's frightened of pushing that red to the left corner but he has given Luca a shot at this red you know he's going to go for it and he can play this in a way that he can't leave anything on other than the red he's going for His long game in his last two or three frames has been absolutely fantastic. And that's the reason he's managed to level this match. He's taken on some very low percentage pots, but he's getting them. If you missed any one of these shots in the last two or three frames, he could have been out the match. Well, one good positional shot you want from here, just to give yourself every opportunity of accumulating some points. I wonder how many players here would crash the brown in and come off the side cushion into the pack of reds and how many would decide to play on one of the loose ones. Every player has their own choice of shot. In this case it's a green for Luca. And it was a brown. Well, I'm not entirely sure exactly what he played there, but my feeling is he's played just the shot he looks to have achieved success with and that's position on the red by the black which will open everything up for Luca. oh what Six. a chance he's given himself if he does go on a win frame and match from here be a very worthy winner all about cue ball control here yes and how good does he look now Looks top class. As I've already said, 14. terrific striker of the cue ball. Very crisp bitter. Looks like he's been around for a very long time. TV conditions certainly not phasing him at all. You just hope that. 21. Things aren't spoiled by a fast bounce or even worse, a kick. No player deserves that. Twenty two. Yes. And he got a kick. <coughs> Red jumps, you could see that there. Took a lot of pace out of the cue ball. Twenty-five. 
seven to seven. Twenty eight. He's got an angle here to force off the side cushion into the pack of reds, but there's a little plant in that cluster. Oh, decides to come off two cushions. I don't think that angle was on, to be honest with you. I thought he could have just powered that off the side cushion and directly into the pack of reds, but just within that cluster, there's a couple of reds that are close to this right hand corner pocket. Luca Purcell, 33. Good length with the keyboard. You can a lot of pressure on that Selby. Yes, it's amazing how this match has changed for all intents and purposes. Looked like it was going to be a one way street for Mark Selby. It's not that he's played bad. Luca has upped his game. There was a couple of scrappy frames where normally you would have put Mark Selby. Favourite to have won him. And Luca Brazil won them. And that's the difference. That's why he's still in this match. And you have to say at the moment, he's looking slightly favourite. One chance away from the next round. too much pace. I think the contact on the red was probably the correct one. It's just played it with too much pace. But good lord, how much pressure is on Mark Selby here? He must feel this must go in. Oh, it has. That's a great shot. He's been kept away from the balls quite a lot these last couple of frames, Mark Selby. He went three to a head, Mark Selby. That's the first ball he's potted. Six. Unless I'm mistaken. Lost the last frame, 131 points to nil. And he was 46 points in arrears before he potted that Seven. great red. Well, this could be really set up for a nail biter if Mark can make a break and get right back in this frame. Fourteen. take the opportunity here to develop another red. Oh, he's missed it. Yeah, too much eye on the cannon. Selby, Forgot about the 20. pot. That's quite a common mistake, especially in pressure situations. You focus on the cannon, you take the pot for granted and you miss it. That wouldn't normally happen in the first frame of a match, but in the last, when the pressure's on, that's when that type of shot can be a little bit error strewn. Yes, and you feel he needs to close the match out now. He's Five. never going to get a better chance than this. Uh, Luca Brussel is a long way behind in the rankings. 66 in the world. Obviously growing. Going up the rankings with every win. Fantastic opportunity Seven. now. And there are 
two loose reds. There's one near to the left corner pocket, so he's got every chance to do it with this visit. A little bit straighter than he'd have liked on the pink, but still no problems. 13. 39 ahead, only 59 remaining, so these two easier reds would be all that Luca Brassel requires to go on and win this match from here. I think Mark Selby must be fearing the worst. Here it is then. This red 20. for victory, you would feel. Uh, well back. done, Luca Brassel. Manageable audience here in Motor Point Arena. Appreciate the fact that Mark Selby now requires a snooker to draw. So it's looking like Luca Brassel will win 4 3. 27. Well, that red doesn't go in. Luca Brussel, 27. Mark Selby comes to the table, 53 points behind, but with only 43 remaining, so that means that he requires three snookers if he's to have any chance to win this match. Don't move that flat, Luca. It's safe where it is. Oh, well, that's not too bad. There's no way Mark Selby is that Darren wants that black on the cushion. Yes, yeah, but not to take anything away from uh, Luca Russell. Again, that was a shot of inexperience. He had the red on the side cushion that was tight he could have just dropped that in down a cushion match all over but to move the black he's put the black actually in a quite a good spot for getting snookers in later on Perhaps it's not going to make much difference to mark taking a couple of pinks for the reds obviously rather the blacks but um it's going to be a very disappointed Mark Selby this, because he has played well in this match. Unusual for him. Two scrappy frames got away from him. From 2-0 to 2 each. But take nothing away from this young lad. He's played very well. Oh, it's a good job that yellow came to Mark Selby's rescue. That could have been a handshake. I do believe he snookered young Luca on both reds. Doesn't want to make the cue ball travel here, just slowly into one of the reds to avoid giving away a foul. Mark's priority here would be to pot a red in a high value colour. And then snooker young Luca on the last red. You, you just can't believe the shot he's played there, that he's gone for the pot on the red. He's looked at the angle to see if he can snick the red in. If he had missed the red completely then, and caught one of the colours and a free ball, Mark Selby could have won. I know he's working with Chris Henry as coach. I think if I was Chris, I'd be have a little word with him at the end of the match with that shot. Inexperience, that's all that is. the exuberance of youth. You can see how determined Mark Selby is to try and snooker Luca. He certainly hasn't given up. He knows that Luca's inexperience could be still a factor in this match. It'd be great for Mark Selby if he could pot a red and a black and then just leave one red on the table. At the moment he's got to snooker both reds. And now that that red's gone yeah. in, you can see the exultation in Luca there. He knows He's now won this match, having potted that red. There's no way Mark Selby will be coming back to the table now. 
Well played, Luca Brussel. What a high quality match this has been in terms of break building. 131 Three. and 114 from Mark Selby in the last frame. That brilliant clearance of 101 from Luca Brussel. Luca Brussel. Three. Well, I'm rather staggered that Mark Selby thinks he can still win this match. 56 points behind now, Mark Selby. 21 points he needs in fouls. That's six snookers at this stage. I've just seen with this leads. What I will say is to you, Dominic, I remember in my amateur days, which is a very, very long time ago, I played in the final in London against Barry Pinches. We were two each. I was 56 ahead with 35 on the table, and somehow I managed to lose it. So it does happen. Yes, I think in the 80s, I think Doug Mountjoy, one of our great Welsh heroes, needed five or six snookers in a match, got them and won. It does happen, but in this modern era, players are normally too clever to possibly allow such a thing to take place. All you need to do, really, when you're escaping from snookers is to use a bit of forethought and make sure that if you do miss them, you'll never leave a free ball on. From your opponents at the snooker require stage. Another brilliant long red from Luca Brussel. Luca Brussel and this time Mark Selby does time. offer his hand of congratulations. So this young Luca Brussel, the 19-year-old from Belgium, who takes his place in the Welsh Open quarterfinals. Well played Luca Brussel. He wins by four frames to three. Well, we thought we'd seen it all yesterday when uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, the defending champion, was knocked out. But now this, 